Hi, this is Jacqueline from DIY Pet Grooming. Today we're going to groom one of my favorite clients, Rooster the Basset Hound. Basset Hounds can have some pretty grungy ears because they're so low to the ground. And I'm going to show you um, a, a tip, green tea and apple cider vinegar in a bottle and you put it inside each ear and massage the base of the ear to get all that debris out. And on the outer edges of the ear, you're going to take a cotton ball with 3% alcohol to wipe out any debris on the outside of the ear. If the ear is irritated at all, you can use witch hazel. You want to clean those ears out really well. And then after cleaning the ears, you want to put cotton ball inside the ears so when you're bathing in water does not get inside deep in the ears. So one of the most questions I get from pet owners is how do you get my dog so clean and the trick is bathing him as many times as you can by sudsing him all up and then rinsing with warm water and that warm water and bathing loosens up all that undercoat. This is one of my favorite products I use. It is a facial scrub. The facial scrub can loosen up any uh, debris that's around the eyes or nose and ears. It has a nice pleasant scent and the best thing about it is it doesn't irritate the ears. I really love this product. Any and all these products that you like here you can find in the link in the description. He's got some big ears this boy. So make sure you put those cotton balls back in the ears while you're rinsing. And if you look down into the tub, you will see all the undercoat that I've pulled out from giving him three or four baths. <laughs> He's such a good boy. So now you have him on the table. You want to dry him with towels to loosen up any more undercoat that he may have. And then I like to use a high velocity blow dryer to fluff up the hair and take out any undercoat. I like to use a rubber curry brush and or a rubber curry mitt that also helps pull out any undercoat and it also stimulates the skin and coat. Oils will come up and protect him and help him not be so shuttable the next bathing. The more you use that rubber mitt the better it is to stimulate his his skin and coat. There's some great tools out there for de-shedding He's really good about letting me get in there and, and do all this. He knows that after this he's going to go home, so he's pretty happy. So Basset Hounds have some um, pretty thick nails, as you can see there. They need to be trimmed. And here's just going along using as many tools as I can to take out as much undercoat. I love this brush. It's a long pin uh, slicker brush. You go against the grain, again, to loosen up undercoat. Here's a tip, going behind him, using your body to support your pet, putting your hand under the foot, and then just clipping each nail while supporting his stifle. He's pretty good at it. Most Bassets do not like their nails done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed sharing with you tips that I have. Um, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Hiya! Before you click away, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for step-by-step -step tutorials showing you how to groom your own pets. And while you're at it, click the link in the description to sign up for my free mini course on dematting, de-skunking, and nail trimming. See you on the inside!